Please welcome Dirk Hoka to the stage. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute pleasure to be here at the biggest uh, trade show for unmanned technology and services. And uh, of course, it's a pleasure for me to talk about the future of unmanned flight as Airbus sees it. And when you talk about Airbus, you probably expect things like this. This is what we do. We make things fly. This is a demonstrator currently in, um, as a demonstrator being built uh, at our A-Cube in Silicon Valley. Um, but it's more important, it's not only about this vehicle, because I think there are many new demonstrators currently built, but it's also how Airbus looks at the future of unmanned flight uh, and in order also to provide solutions for megatrends that we are facing today. One of the megatrends, urbanization, causes a lot of other problems like congestion. And uh, when we look at today's traffic in the US, most of the commuters lose like two weeks in a year doing traffic. The worst is DC with more than 80 hours uh, as an average. And we believe that the third dimension can provide solutions to it in the future. And but what is more important, we don't only look at the vehicle part, we look also at the digital enabled services part. We look at how we can pool passengers, how we can provide on-demand dispatching of these kind of services. And of course, what is even more important, as you just heard in the previous presentation, is how to make it safely, how to provide these kind of services in the future safe and according to aerospace certification and regulations. And this is something, of course, where we have the, the expertise and the knowledge in. But as I said, for us, it's, it's more than just talking about vehicles. And this is maybe also completely new for a company like Airbus, that we look at the future of digital enabled services to, to be in, integrated in these kind of offering. When we look at why we come in as Airbus at a AUVSI drone show, as you know, we are today a provider of military drones, but you have not seen us in the commercial space. Uh, and this is something we look at because if we look at where drones are used today, there are hundreds of different market segments. There are thousands of different companies working in this area. But it's very complicated for large-scale customers to find orientation in these markets and also to find global operating companies that can provide services from one hand. And this is one of the reasons why we're looking at this market segment. We look at how can we support global operating companies in providing services from one hand. Imagine an oil and gas company operating in more than 100 countries, having platforms all over the globe. Will they work with hundreds of different service operators for drone services? They don't, and they won't. And they're looking for companies that can give them large-scale operations safe and secure and give them support in their businesses. And this is something we look at. We believe that Airbus is a, is a very strong brand, well recognized in the aerospace space um, segments with a good reputation regarding safety and regulation. and we definitely able to provide certifiable aircrafts and platforms. Looking at how to provide aerial digital services, we do already. But not yet using drones, we use satellite data. Here you can see a satellite data displaying power lines. And what you can see, we have already all the analytics platforms in place in order to support the utilities to identify areas where they need to send their service uh, technicians in order to, for example, here in this case, cut the trees and provide at early stage the service in order to make sure that there are no incidents. But in the future, we can easily ex extend that service, combine it with drone data, as you can see here from the same power line, a leader picture from a drone where you can then examine all the details of a transmission tower 
if the insulators are working well, are there any other topics that need to be um, analyzed and monitored or where utility needs to be sent? So we can easily combine existing technologies into new business models, what we have not done in the past. Again, another topic that many people don't know, we use satellite data already to provide services to agriculture uh, companies. Here you see a, a spot six image of a large farm area where you have highlighted certain parcels, which then provide data that can be directly transferred into an automation system of a tractor and to do, uh, in order to do precision farming, in order to do precision spraying or application of fertilizer on the field. And what many people don't know, we have already 18,000 existing customers using this kind of technology supplied by Airbus through our uh, different platforms. And tomorrow it can be easily enhanced again by drone services, making it a bus bigger business model, combining different technologies in order to be a better service provider for our customers. There are many other areas like uh, disaster relief. After a hurricane, for example, we can use our satellite data in order to provide very fast overview about the, the area that is uh, considered. And then based on that, we can send to specific locations drones in order to provide a detailed overview of the situation on the ground. Again, combination of different technologies on a service platform enables the customer to get a better service provided. But all that you heard in the previous presentation was about safety and regulation. And one thing we believe that regulation has to be continuously improved and we don't want that someone gets hurt by a drone. And uh, I think, therefore, we already work very seriously with a lot of uh, certification bodies on air traffic management questions, how to identify drones, how to manage drones in, in a congested area in the future. And we have a lot of demonstrators uh, working globally in order to find areas where we can improve these kind of services. And also in the future, ensure that certified vehicles will be used in order to provide the service that I just mentioned. But the more important part is that we are offering a new kind of service in the future. And therefore, I brought a video which is brand new, which is just uh, a new introduction of a new service into the market. And I would like to show this video before I explain the service in detail. Please play. Satellite and drone technologies are expanding the boundaries of possibility. They are changing the way we manage our resources, the way we make decisions, and the way we connect to one another. Yet with the power of these technologies comes complex challenges to operate at scale, deliver rapid insights, and produce actionable data that solves real-world problems. But now, from a global leader in space and aeronautics comes a bold new solution. Airbus Aerial is a comprehensive digital service bringing together the benefits of small drone technology, high altitude unmanned aircraft, existing Airbus satellite infrastructure, and customized software to manage data capture and analysis, providing truly actionable data to customers. This new service utilizes every layer of the data capture infrastructure, delivering a holistic view of high quality imagery and sensing solutions, for a wide array of industry applications. Providing deep insights through a customized software infrastructure that delivers analytical tools and rapid access to reliable information. Empowering customers to make decisions and solve real world problems. Imagine a future where the world is connected in times of need. A future where the next generation of logistics brings us closer together. A future where organizations have the insights they need to make decisions faster, reduce costs, and improve the lives of their customers. This is the future of digital services. 
This is Airbus Aerial. So this is a world premiere for us because normally what we do is we develop things very thoroughly and then we go public. Here we do it slightly differently because this is going to be an ecosystem where we want to partner, where we want to invite software developers, where we want to do, invite hardware producers to join us on that journey and create that ecosystem together in order to be able to provide global services for critical industries, for global operating customers in a way that no one has achieved so far. So what we have to bring to the table, we have existing technologies that can be used like being able to provide satellite data from our own satellites or from GEO and LEO. Um, we have very soon high altitude pseudo satellites being able to provide connectivity or to provide images from the stratosphere. And of course, being able to develop our own hardware platforms for UAV services. But it doesn't mean that we have to do everything ourselves. What we believe is that there are so many existing companies that are covering small parts of the total ecosystem that can be joining forces with us in order to create the ecosystem that will supply these global servers in the future. We're currently building up the software cloud, the Airbus cloud, um, in order to provide these service in a more professional digital way. But in this area, where we will have a public and a private cloud, we invite companies to be service providers for software applications, for data analytics services on that platform, on the data that we provide. Because we will host not only satellite pictures there, we will host data from all our different platforms in this platform, enabling us to provide new services that we have not done in the, in the past. And of course, also looking at the current status of regulation, Many of the vehicles used currently, successfully used in different vertical business models, they might continue for a certain while, but when regulation becomes tougher, I think our expertise in certification of aerospace platforms can be a valuable contributor for cooperation in order to certify vehicles in order to be part of that ecosystem in the future. So this is really the invitation to companies in the software and in the hardware area to team up with us in the future and build up that platform. We're going to test already certain verticals still this year um, in order um, to, to be sure that we uh, can scale the business very fast. And as you all know, at the end, it's about scaling business, creating a global operating business, and in many areas, clarify how we can solve customer problems that no one else has solved before, or solve it at a better, more competitive price than in the past. So for us, it's very important to team up here, to find the right partners, and to accelerate the global reach of operation for the Airbus Aerial Platform. Jesse Kalman is the new president of our US operations, and many of you know him, as I've seen yesterday. So he and his team are here at the booth today and uh, are happy to discuss with you how cooperation, long-term partnership can look like in this new Airbus Aerial ecosystem. And I'm also looking forward to work with many of you in the future and hopefully next year when we come back to the AUSI that we can present in detail existing business models, existing hardware and software platforms that will convince you that this is the way to go, and uh, this is why Airbus, even at a late stage, steps into the commercial arena of the unmanned uh, flight and the unmanned digital services. So, thank you for your attention. Looking forward to cooperation, discussions. I will still be around till later this day, and I hope that I can see many of you later at our Airbus booth. Thank you very much for your attention. Great job, Nerd.